Oh, wow. Let's see. You got to go back into here. All right. Welcome, guys. What's up? Uh, this is Side 5 Gaming. And a little something different today while I'm waiting for uh, access to Ace Combat 7. I have been trying to play this game for a while. I kept on forgetting about it. Uh, I've heard it's kind of a hidden gem, um, you know, from some of my other friends and, and whatnot. It's one of the, well, I should say it's made by Supermassive Games. The people who made, uh, I believe, you know, Rush of Blood, Until Dawn, um, what else, Impatient. So the, it's a, you know, it's a, a movie-esque game. The old, uh, you know, make decisions, choose your own adventure kind of kind of thing going on. And... You control it through PlayLink. Uh, it's one of the games for PS4 that you have to uh, download. You have to download an app for your phone, and that's how I'm controlling the game right now. I, I'm merely talking through the controller, basically, through my headset on there, but I'm contr completely controlling the game in my actions. As you see this red dot moving around in here, I'm doing that with my phone. Um, it's a multiplayer game. It's kind of a party game, as I call it. So I have it in my party game section on my PS4. In story mode, you're playing the game for fun. Work together to solve the crime and play the story guy. you want to see. So, yeah, as I was saying, you know, you can have other people connect their phones with the app, and as long you know, they just get on the same Wi-Fi uh, network as you. And the premise was pretty cool when I first saw it. Um, you know, somebody's the, basically somebody is trying to protect the killer or, or is the killer and you, the rest of the people in the room are trying to find out who it is. The game can be played by itself, obviously, as we're going to do right now. This is my first playthrough of this game. Um, hopefully some people who are watching can, can, you know, get involved in the chat and whatnot, but, um, we'll see how that goes. I didn't really think that the, you know, that the timer would allow enough time for for people to to really help out but we'll find out we'll see what's up um let me refresh this i'm gonna do some youtube admin stuff right now since we are playing live and maybe at a later date i'll go back and you know just post up a video of it maybe with a full review or something but <clears throat> it was it was on sale i was i had like i said i'd been wanting to pick it up for a while and it went on sale for, I mean, for nothing. I couldn't believe how cheap it was, and it's a lot of content. Well, let me mute myself over there. Um, and when I say by a lot of content, I just mean by, you know, the file The file is heavy. Um, it's, it's over 30 gigs of game, and these days, that's kind of how I, how I judge a lot of the games, is the price, you know, is price per gig, Kind of, sort of. That's one of the things that I do these days because there's so many games that are, you know, you know, expensive or expensive-ish, and they're only about five gigs, ten gigs. You know, they're not even close to fifty or anything like that. Um, I think Ace Combat Seven. I, that's just off the top of my head. That's a little bit above thirty something. I think the entire file was what it was over fifty, but that's including Ace Combat Five and Ace Combat Seven together. This game is by itself, I guess, because of all the, you know, the the. Uh, the theatrics and, and stuff like that um, it is it is pretty heavy it's a pretty heavy file so I was more than happy to pick it up for you know under under 10 bucks or whatever it was um, when it was on sale let me go through and adjust some of this make sure this is all good to go and we'll get to it gotta put the name of the game in here if anybody else out there has has played it let me know um, what you guys think about it before we get going? Let's see, here we go. That should be all we have to do. And I'll post up the pick for it. Where is it? There we go. Let's play. All right, should be good. So yeah, jump in the chat um, and let's see if you can help me make some decisions. I want I want to see how that uh how quickly that that actually works if it does work. 
go back to live chat. All right, chat room's up. All right, let's do this. So, as I was saying, yeah, you could, so it's really neat. All these games, you control it with your phone. I've had a lot of fun with the other PlayLink games. They're great party games. The trivia games are great. Um, they're, and they're, they're well made. Ripple effect. Right, right. Okay, let's see. Can you pause it from here? Oh, yeah, you can. Very cool. Logbook. Biographies. Ripple events. So I'm going through all the stuff on my phone. Um, just like stuff you can do. Kind of basically like the, the manuals on here as you're, as you're doing it, but... Booty trap. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to play this next time we have people over. Trapper. Officers Marnie and Nelson respond to a sighting of the Trapper serial killer. You ready for this? Of course I'm ready. Nice and easy. Textbook color. What's the play? Vote for Vicky choices Marnie by a, moving your pointer inside officer. the box. I'm, I'm looking at the biographies for the officers right now, so let's see. It doesn't feel right. Let's scope it out. Look at that. Already getting trophies. <laughs> Already knocking out. Split. Already on the way to that uh, that gold or platinum, whatever's at the top. I'll take the door around back. When does my... Stealth mode. We'll see Stealth you mode. I love it. Come on, Becky. Catch a killer. What does this guy do? Use your pointer to hit the target before the timer runs out. Okay, to hit the target. Use your pointer to hit the target before time runs out. Well, this is gonna be interesting. What's up, Machigan? Looks like I didn't make it. Distracted. Now we're good. No. No. Playing the James. No. Yeah, I'm using I'm using the the smartphone. Play Link. Uh oh, it's just got the shakes. Okay, Machiga. To shoot, move your pointer onto the target. Think before you shoot. You do not have to open fire. Okay. 
Hands behind your head, no sudden moves. I will shoot. Don't shoot! <laughs> hey! Don't test my aim, fucker! That's I am not gonna hurt don't her! Don't shoot! Oh, me. shoot! Hands up! Hands up! I'm not gonna say it again! What is she talking about? Freeze! Drop the gun! Don't move. Shouldn't look at that weapon, boy. The hunt for the trapper came to a dramatic end tonight as police from the third precinct arrested their primary suspect, Jonathan Finn. It's Finn not him. wanted in connection with a string of <laughs> grisly murders that has gripped the city and claimed the lives of first response police officers. Yep. More on the story as it develops. He looked at the gun again. I already gave him a chance. Ladies and gentlemen. The accused, Jonathan Finn, is guilty. Of that, there is no doubt. Your job is simply to determine how he is punished. This man, really? the so-called trapper killer, has terrorized our community with his brutal murder spree. So you say. Booby trapping his victims so our brave first responders became victims themselves. These innocent people were targeted for no other reason than to play out Jonathan Finn's sick game. Jonathan Finn Isn't has that confessed what we're to doing? every single one of these crimes. I ask that the court consider Jonathan Finn's voluntary confession of his crimes. He has spared the victim's families a prolonged trial and in doing so has demonstrated a glimmer of remorse. Therefore, it is my recommendation that Jonathan Finn be spared the death penalty and instead sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Thank really? you. Let me check my uh, volume real quick. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Check, check, check. That should be good enough. Finn, you have committed crimes of such a depraved nature that this court has no alternative but to sentence you to death by lethal injection. Uh oh. This court is adjourned. Lights out for old Johnny Finn. Tap the logbook button on your app to read plot updates, view character biographies, and check the major ripple events affecting your story. Five years later. She was a prosecuting Johnny attorney? Finn, the trapper, and she didn't want to give him the death penalty? Five whole years. Mr. Trapper's only got 48 hours left on our big blue marble, so I thought, hey, did you know one of the victims? Phones are open. Call the one, you're on. Hey, so, well, yeah, man. I mean, in my point of view, like, they can't fry this son of a bitch hard enough, you know? I saw he got messed up as a kid. That's no excuse to take it out on our finest boys in blue. I hear you. But it ain't like our cops got the finest reputation, you know? Look at Marnie for one. Promotion to homicide, metal, the works. This gal's on top of the world, and guess what? Turns out she's dirtier than the rest of us down here in the mud. Mishandling evidence, improper conduct, who knows what else? Man, I really... I guess you never know who's one of the good ones. I don't know how I, still how I feel about the, uh, you know, the, the fully lifelike characters. Kind of trying to get over the whole, you know, uh, what's the uncanny valley thing? <laughs> hey, what's up, monster? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My phone keeps telling me, look at TV. Like he can see where I'm looking. 
We're quickly racking up red names on this board, and I gotta tell you, unsolved cases don't exactly uphold the reputation we've built here at this precinct. Just put Marty the Magician on the case. I hear she's got a knack for making things disappear. Son of a bitch. Detective Calvary? I pretend you didn't just say that. She's got a dirty mouth. Dismissed. <laughs> What's the next time I gotta shoot somebody? Hey, Beckett. Ignore him. Calvary? Everyone knows he only reported you because you're the biggest target. Glad to know my accomplishments have earned me something. You doing okay? I'd be doing a lot better if Calvary would take a short walk off a tall building. <laughs> Just promise me you won't do anything. Don't Gonna shoot him. Anything work with. At least while the inquiry's still open. Yeah, thanks. Just gotta keep telling myself that. Detective Marnie? Can we have a word in my office? Looks like they just painted the jeans onto the character. Look, Marnie. <laughs> I'm not supposed to comment on an ongoing internal affairs investigation, but... Yeah, it's true. It starts affecting my best detective. I'm sorry, sir. Nick, don't apologize. We'll see if she can channel Tom Cruise. I have no doubt you didn't do anything to compromise the crime scene intentionally. The facts will speak for themselves. Thank you for course not. me, sir. Duh, boss. You know, sometimes boss. it feels like we don't have a choice in these things, but... You do. You got me? Yes, of course. I want to believe that, but I know the trap was set for execution. So weird. I was playing hours. music. It was a lot lighter than this. Heavy load. You know when you send someone to death row? I don't want you to be distracted. Um. Knowing Jonathan Finn's about to make his exit is what gets me up in the morning, sir. <laughs> Better than a cup of coffee. That's creepy. That's pretty crazy. Got your message. Heading to see your client now. Sorry I couldn't make it back to town. I'm not crazy about meeting Finn without his attorney present. I know. Thank you for talking to him so quickly. Well, he doesn't have much time left, does he? No, he doesn't. You want to give me a little preview? I'm thinking that I'll have to, like, do a playthrough where I only, uh, <laughs> where I only swipe left. And then another playthrough where I only swipe right. Who's Adam Jones? So now I already automatically wonder what would have happened if I would have, uh, if I would have just blasted the guy right when I saw say, him. Then I'm ready to hear it. Call you after. Thank you. Okay. Good afternoon. Hello. Your attorney says you have something you want to tell me. Peppers. Sure, but you ain't gonna believe me. No one does. I used to blame God for what happened. At Las Palmas? Oh, you're one of them. The orphanage? We were just kids. We trusted them. But I've forgiven them now. God teaches us to forgive. If I gotta go out, I ain't going out a liar. Then tell me the truth. Miss Graves, I did not kill anybody. Hmm. Listen to me. I don't like you. I believe in my duty, and that is to listen to what you have to say, but that window is closing fast. So speak up. It was Adam. Adam? Adam was my best friend at the orphanage, and he killed those people. It was Adam. Is it? I'm listening, but you have to give me more to go on. Adam and I will. We've seen some shit together. Makes you close. Already got Adam Jones' profile escaped, right here. And I found drugs. I was high from the moment I got out of there. And a couple of years later, a couple of centuries. Adam promised to kill Adam again to clear Finn's name? Online. He keeps writing me and writing me and bringing up all that old shit from the orphanage. He says he knows exactly how to make him pay. So we made an arrangement. I wrap myself out, I take the heat off him, spend a couple of months in the clink, and then wham! 
Trapper strikes again. Wham. Can't be me, because I'm in here. Makes sense, right? Pretty convenient. Convenient? Convenient is Father Raminsky running an orphanage. Fox in a hen house. You have no idea what it was like in there. The playroom. Well, that's what he called it, but... Sick. I think he was the only one who was having any fun in there. This game goes right for the throat, no. man. It's heavy. Well, you can go see for yourself. I'm not even sure if the orphanage is still standing. So where is he? Adam. Now? No idea. Now how can we find him? Got to start someplace. I got a place. Where? It's not. Uh... It's better if I draw you a map. Perfect. Don't give him the pen. <laughs> right now, he just used the pen to get out of his handcuffs. <laughs> Got it. Finn, stay back. I just want to talk. He just wants to talk. We'll go back, sit down, and uh. Ah! God damn it! Ah! God, my face! Hey, hey! Settle down. How do you think? You should just try to talk with your handcuffs on, dude. This guy keeps making all the wrong, all the wrong decisions. He's got himself shot. Got himself pepper sprayed. <laughs> your client just tried to assault me, okay? He's dangerous. If you're looking to get him out of here, it's not going to happen. Give him another death penalty. Jesus. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Look, that's not what I'm after. Then why bring me out here? If you tell the judge about Adam Jones... It's so weird, the, their audio is actually quite low. Lana, it's too late. It could lead to an appeal. All we're doing is delaying the inevitable. Adam Jones is reasonable doubt, Felicity. I never wanted the death sentence, but I just don't think this is enough to stop it from happening. Finn is not a good man, but he is not the trapper. And if he dies, the trapper is still out there. Yeah. You're right. Let's take it to Judge Banstone, see what happens. Thank you, Felicity. Don't thank me yet. Did you guys play Bandersnatch? Hey, Machigan, did they have Bandersnatch on Netflix in Japan? Thank you so much for seeing me so quickly. Miss Petty already filled me in on this whole Adam Jones business. Yes, sir. Uh, I just spoke with Mr. Finn. Now, in my experience, you light a candle under a man's ass, you can fly a balloon out of his mouth. Sir? Are you buying his story? Uh -oh. I have doubts, but we do have a record of an Adam Jones at the orphanage. Same time as Finn. Has anyone spoken to Jones? He's been presumed dead for years. Well, that's quite a stretch, don't you think? Well, even if Jones exists, how can you be sure Finn can track him down? Hmm. I'm, I'm not sure what the truth is, but I know it's out there and we need time to find it. <laughs> Apparently, you need to release a convicted serial killer to find it. Just long enough to lead the police to Adam Jones. You're full of surprises, Miss Graves. If you were in my position, what would you do? Yeah, the other guy seemed a little bit more raspy. Let's see. I don't think it's my place to make that kind of decision, sir. I'm sorry, Miss Graves, but Finn has gotten into your head once and he's doing it again. He's clearly a desperate man, just dredging up anything he can from his past to delay the inevitable. There's just not enough here for me to take any action. Finn stays put. The execution well, will I should have picked the other one. 
Hey, Lana. No go, huh? Yeah, Fanstone's mind's made up. Mobile suits are in the hangar, dude. There's one more thing you can do for me. I feel like you're running out of favors here. The police and homicide won't talk to me. They think I'm playing I'm this until uh, this combat opens up for me. I don't know. I'm not sure homicide will talk to me either. It's over in a couple hours either way. For Finn. <sighs> God damn it. Fine. I'll let you know how it goes. And I need a raise. <laughs> then you should have gone into corporate law. Don't you know that crime doesn't pay? Yeah. Yep, should have done Sounds like a load of fresh horse manure. Case is airtight. Make sure to try that in the air for Christ's sake. You want to tell me? I should pause this real quick. And shut this window. It's getting too noisy out there. Why exactly we should be listening to that scumbag? I'm just doing my job, Detective Calvary. I try not to miss things that might be important. I know that's sort of a foreign concept around here. I'm not gonna punch a DA. Not a lady one, at least. Who exactly was Adam Jones? Did he come up at all during the investigation? Uh-huh. There was an Adam Jones at the orphanage. But you know what? Sorry fucker was killed in the fire that shut the place down. So <laughs> the story kinda ends there. Finn's got impeccable timing. You don't think he's full of it? I think, I think there's something there. I just want to put this thing to rest before Finn's put to rest. Finn tells me Rominsky had a secret room at the orphanage, called it the playroom. It's where he held his extracurricular activities. Does that sound familiar? No, I remember something like that. That didn't come out in the report. I was wondering, uh, Mr. Hillary, so, when you analyzed the bodies of the Trapper's victims, did you find anything that might suggest there could be another suspect? Gosh, that was five years ago. I, would, I don't think so. So, no reason <laughs> to suspect anyone but Finn? I do recall only, you know, submitting a partial analysis of the evidence because Mr. Finn confessed, so it seemed open and shut. So there was more evidence left to analyze? Well, yeah, trace signatures. Do you have access to all that data? Now just give me the data. Hold on a goddamn second. This case is closed. Finn had motive. He well, went to Los Palmas and gave the police. We even found his hair at another crime scene. The RV park, right? That was the social worker. And uh, Detective Marnie, would you mind walking me through that night again? I'll walk you through it. Two words. Missed opportunity. Could have had Finn in handcuffs right then and there. I think I'd like to hear from Detective Marnie, if you don't mind. Uh, sure. Catherine Hope was a social worker at Las Palmas Orphanage. We didn't know Finn had her. We got a 10-8 at Hog Haven Trailer Park out by the highway. A break-in in progress. I was closest to the scene, so I went solo. Should have been a piece of cake, but... Whoops. How do I get out of this? Here we go. That night, everyone was on pins and needles because the trapper was raising Cain. 
and any one of us could have been next. <laughs> Shoot everybody! What should Becky do? Search area, enter trailer. I wonder how long it gives us to see if you guys can actually help with this stuff. Monster. Search area, enter trailer. Let's see how long it gives us, see if we can actually, if you guys can actually help. Or anybody else who's out there who wants to type in. Enter the trailer. Search the area. Swipe left. Swipe right. Search the area. That's what I was thinking too, man. That's cool. It gives us ample time to do that. So, we could actually do a couple playthroughs of this. That'd be fun. Get different people involved, see how it plays out for them. The only thing I gotta do is the, the be quick. <laughs> the be quick events. The be quick time events. This is 609. I'm the CFBIP. Open exit on the highway. No perp. I'm gonna make an entry to the trailer. 609 acknowledged. Caution advised. <laughs> Thanks, dispatch. Mm, that was weird. Search for the clue shown at the top of the screen. Use your pointer to highlight the clues before the timer runs out. Some okay. of these clues could help you in the future. So try to find them all. Interesting. All right, so we're looking for shoe prints. A bag. A bomb. Couldn't find the other thing. It's good exercise, man. It's good, expensive exercise. <laughs> but good training on top of that. Sounds like I'm no bomb. Is that how was I supposed to see that? Or was that not what I was looking for? Yeah, just let me know if you need any recommendations for gear, or guns, or whatever, man. Help, help me! Oh, okay, 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 okay. Just keep quiet. Who did this to you? I. I was in the bar. I. I don't know. I woke up here. Oh God! Please help me, please. What's happening? There's a bunch of C4 strapped to your chest, lady. Okay, I'm gonna remove the timer. Carefully. Oh, crap. Oh, God! Oh, my God, get me out of there! We're gonna blow up! Oh, <laughs> this chick's freaking out. God damn it! No! Oh, God! Time to run. You're not qualified for that. We did our best. Oh, that is dirty. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Ooh. 
I think that would have been a little bit bigger. But at least it didn't blow the entire house up like a hand it grenade in the 80s. I'm eager to repeat. Ben must have seen you coming. Got out before finishing the, the FN job. 2000 yes, is a little bulky for Milsim. It was very brave of you to but go it's cool to eat me because it's a bullpup. Uh, if you want something like the FN 2000, and, uh, I would suggest just, just getting an AUG or I discovered them as the fin maybe one of the other bullpup rifles. There's no real DNA advantages to the, uh, and to the FN 2000, but if that's what you want, they do make them. Finn had been in and out of the station so many times, he practically had a door with his name on it. When we got the tip uh, that he'd been spotted at a squat, he just happened to be driving by. Shit just seems to fall on your lap, detective. At least I caught him, dick. Uh-oh. Mama Bear's got a temper. Watch out. Yeah. I'm sorry, detective, but you're Why is this guy being so not helping? obstructive? I'm sorry. Last I checked, this was my case. And I got my guy convicted. Who the fuck are you to question my competency? I'm a district attorney. Are you finished? Damn. The Trapper case shook everyone up. I think we've poured enough salt in all our own wounds for one night. Sergeant. I think that about covers it. Anything else we can help you with? Hmm. Demand. See, this is these are always these kind of decisions are always weird because it says demanding, but then what she's asking for seems reasonable. Do you have Adam's forensics? Like, why would you just ask for that? I don't know if you gotta be demanding about it, but then polite is just thanks for hearing me. Like that makes sense. I mean, yeah, thanks for meeting with me and everything, but. I really want to pick the do you have Adam's forensics, but I don't want to be demanding about it. I mean, I guess we've already pissed people off enough, so why not just be demanding, right? Do you have Adam Jones's forensics records on file? Well, not from his death. Were there samples taken when he was placed in the orphanage? Oh, that wasn't too bad. Yes. Most likely. Would it be possible to pull those records and run them against evidence found at the Trapper's crime scene? Are you shitting me? You're <laughs> wasting the time of this entire division. You understand? We're playing Batman. I got a better idea. We let that psycho die on the table. <laughs> Not enough blue Calvary, zookas in this stop. game. We'll have Mr. Hillary look into it. Let you know if we find it. All my friends have been asking me, like, they're like, dude, do you play any other games now? I mean, ever since I started GBO2, haven't really been playing anything else except for PSVR stuff. Which we're gonna do tonight! Hey Ace guys. Combat 7 yeah, PSVR! I just to say that Calvary's a dick. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You were really helpful. Let's solve this what case together. I. What? I've got a huge stack of files. <laughs> I just asked you out. Not gonna be able to get through it on my own. Okay, sure. I can help you with that. Apparently. Call me. The attorney likes blondes. Yeah, man, the AUG's pretty sick. I, I always like those guns. That one or the uh, the British L85. Newer, newer versions of that are pretty dope. But the AUG is a nice, slick polymer weapon. Because you don't gain any capacity or any range or anything by using yep. an F2000 over an AUG. You just lose a little bit Some of weight and have calling. better handling with the AUG. I had no idea. We managed to keep it out of the press. And the AUG A3 is one, super sexy. Walsh, the Undertaker. Yeah, uh, they just released the new Glocks. If you just want something that works and that is a Glock, that it's easy to find magazines for and stuff like that. Uh, I use an Elite Force 1911, but that's just my personal preference. But um, you really got to be careful with you know the, CO, the higher power CO2 guns and them blowing out seals and stuff like that. They take a little bit more care than than the green gas guns. Again, Pretty much every sidearm that I've had so far has been a 1911 base gun, but I also had a, a double stack 1911, the Tokyomori High Kappa. That, keeps on giving. that gun has you want to take a break? ridiculous range. Oh, I'm sorry, I. It's just this was all. A this chick history. looks like my friend. Staring at these files again, Finn's execution coming up. I, I don't know. It's. It's been hard to sleep with this shit just running through my head. 
Well, the good news is it'll all be over before you know it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Second target, nasty piece of work. Oh, this is the one that would beat the kids till you couldn't recognize yeah, If you want something that's just super fun, just whenever you're not even Order playing at events, Thomas. Glock 18, man, it's fully automatic. I mean, why not? Why not get... And then just always use it on semi-automatic, but... But Don't let people find out if fire is fully automatic and you can't use it on, you know, fields unless you're at an open play or something like that. But you can't use room, fully automatic light, pistols and milsim before. stuff. The cop who showed up flipped the light switch and let there be light. He's definitely elevating here. I mean, his first real kill, more sophisticated, but he wasn't satisfied. Third target, Father Rominski, leader of the pack. Chaplain at but pretty much any of the uh, new pistols you can get in uh, yeah, an airsoft format. The trapper knocked him out, cut him open, and rigged him up with explosives to blow if he moved. We got a tape of the whole thing a few days later. The sick fucker made sick. Rominsky kneel in prayer for hours, confessing his sins. When he got what he wanted, he called Sergeant Teller. Did you know the other two cops? The HK pistols are always really sexy, man. Those are always really good. They always operate really so, well. All three of them, and you, a first responder in the botched attempt, all from the third precinct? The murders were in our district. How well did you know the other two? I mean, how well did you know the other first responders? Enough to know that I didn't like them much. I got out of there as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. What if the first victims in each incident were just a smokescreen and the real target was the third precinct? Dude, I wonder what this is like in multiplayer when you have other people using the phones. Interesting. Yeah? These three cops, they weren't exactly best of the boys in blue. How so? Third precinct had problems. Of chemical variety. Yeah, I, I, I recognize the Asian chick yeah, actually. I'm surprised this never came up in the investigation. I'm just not sure where I've or seen her. Anyways, you might have something. What's up with you and Calvary? No, there's a guy who's got it coming. You couldn't even cut that tension with a chainsaw. All I ever wanted evidence. was to get out of this shithole and join the FBI. As soon as I finally grow the stones to apply for training, guess what that piece of shit does? No. Yeah, Calvary just had to stick his nose in it. What did he do? He says that I misplaced evidence. Ouch. And now there's even a full-blown inquiry. Even when they come up with nothing, it's still an inquiry. It means not above suspicion, and the FBI doesn't want people who are not above suspicion. That's some hard luck, Becky. Hard luck. Sorry, Becky. My father was a hero in the department. My first week on the beat, he eats his gun. That's hard Man, luck. Becky has seen some shit. Jesus. <laughs> you haven't heard the things that they say about me. Every time I walk into a room, I can feel it. I'm a joke. I'm sure they talk about your fabulous I'm hair. Sure that's not true, Becky. There's no use in denying it. I'm supposed to be crazy, right? Like father, like daughter. The Becky, eyes look amazing. You're a good cop. Okay, I'm sure everything's going to work out. Yeah, I wish I could. I guess they that. figured the most important part is the eyes. So let's see, we got some more. Go to the evidence. This is 125 at the 1016. Make an entry. Wow, oh, there's a lot more beds to go through. Uh, what country are you in? It's probably the main thing. You in UK or in America? Anyone here? It's gonna be another flashlight scene. What is that? Those are just bolts. Okay. Oh, uh oh. 
Sir, can you hear me? I doubt it, dude. Fire a warning shot. See if you wake him up. Oh, it was a booty trip. I love how they got the guy screaming there. <laughs> Jesus. Bomb blows up in his face. Oh. We got a problem. Oh. What? Victim's a cop. What? What happened? I was still trying to put that together. Call came in. There was a body. Respondent showed up. Body was raped. Travel style. Oh, you do? I thought you were one of the ones that was in the UK. My bad. Hmm. Police. Well, my friend used to own an airsoft company, but what? Um. No, that doesn't happen. I would, just, I would just say, you know, you can search for whatever you want from Evike. Becky. Evike's pretty much got everything there is. When I first got into the sport, they, I mean, they were just known for, like, you know, cheaper stuff. But now they pretty much have everything, including their own custom guns. I mean, they've come a long way in 15 years. I mean... They've been open that long, or a little bit longer, and they haven't shut down Excuse yet. Me, Tons of other airsoft stores have come and gone. Here. Thank you. From what we can piece together, it seems like Calvary brought a prostitute. Oh, God. Brought her back here where, uh, you know. Track her down? Only got a partial description. 20s, brunette. Great. Calvary put a whole clip in that wall, and didn't hit one thing. Only blood here is his. That cop just said clip. Amongst Montesinos. The responder? Calvary's body was rigged. Traps. <gasps> Fuck. Again. Who was your law enforcement advisor on this game? I would like to talk to him. Where's the rounds? Dude, where's my... This thing keeps not responding to... my fingers always oh, missing one that's a whole clip if someone cut his throat from behind and, <laughs> and now she says there's a whole and clip in that wall run, why would he miss anything nothing useful how did these two get it out of the academy saying clip? Guess they weren't internet gun experts like me. I, uh, I spent the night, or uh, the evening, with Felicity Graves. Going over files. All night? Yeah. So? Shit. What? You need to be very, very careful how you handle this. Why? You gotta make sure you account for all your whereabouts. Everyone knows how you and Calvary felt about each other. Tom. You have to be careful. Do you really think I could do something like this? Listen to yourself. I'm not accusing you. Oh no, but it's the first thing that pops up in there. You can't blow up. You know what this looks like. I wouldn't have planted a bomb in bed and blown his freaking head off. I think we're gonna go straight up with the FU. You are unbelievable. I'm trying to help you. No, you know what? You can go fuck yourself, Tom. Get him, girl. She is... <laughs> trophy earned. The F-bomb. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Unsecondary? What? Oh, no. That's the end of part one. Check the logbook, fix yourself a drink, and hit the box when you're ready to move on. Oh, I'm going to hit that box after I get my drink. That's a great idea. Well then. So far, I'm super stoked that I picked this up. It's <laughs> super cheap on sale. It's a, it's, a really, it's a really nice change of pace. Like I said, I really like all the playlink games, so don't sleep on those right now. 
I am actually going to do what they suggested and be right back. All right, detectives, let's get back in it. My buddy actually lives in a, in a, a town called Munster, Texas. Munster? Becky arrested fancy it's hostage. Promoted, homicide under certain rates. Yep, but I screwed that one up. Okay. Right, right. Oh, that's cool. Easy to go on back and forth from this. Yes, it are time to continue. And now, part two of Hidden Agenda. Hidden Agenda Part Dua. G thirty six is baby. The uh the elite force G thirty six has superior internals uh, and a fantastic hop up. It's it's actually really accurate for uh, being just the short barrel length. But you can turn it into the M4 length barrel if you if you want. I have an entire family of G36s: the hey, Simon, full size, doing? the M4 length, and the uh, short commando hey, one. Extra work That's always been my favorite. Uh, place, I guess. My favorite platform. There new, there's a new UMP-45 okay, coming okay, out from guys, Elite Force that up. has a cool burst hey, function. Listen up. And we obviously, yeah, today. all the new vectors are, are getting be better and better. I think the original ones, they only came worse. in gas form. I know it's going to be tough on all of us. No one here ever thought we'd see the day that Jack Cavalry went down for the count. Yeah. Uh, well, let's be blunt, he wasn't the kind to catch his flies with sugar. But he was one of us. That admin looks very young. Excuse me, Sergeant. What's the latest on the witness? A call girl? We got an APB out, and uh, one for this Adam Jones, too. I'll keep you a bit. Until we have reason to believe otherwise, we are treating this as a trap. Don't you think that dude looks a little young to be the commander? It's entirely possible that Jonathan Fenn is somehow well, I guess he's just a lieutenant. 
We have District Attorney Felicity Graves here to help with the investigation. She is familiar with the Trapper's M.O. She's here to help. Please extend her every courtesy. Detective Marnie, I'm gonna need you to look into Calvary's old Trapper case files. We'll look at the links here, anything we could have missed. You want me to do paperwork? Annoyed or restrained? Annoyed or restrained? Uh, I mean, what is he gonna? Say? He's gonna say, "Yeah, you gotta do paperwork," even if we say we're annoyed. Unless there's just some weird, you know, gameplay thing against us for picking this, making this weird decision is gonna lead into something crazy. Uh, I hate making these choices. Whenever it doesn't seem like it's very important, it ends up being super important. Due respect, sir, but I don't think that going through files in a basement is the best use of my time right now. Detective Marty, I'm pretty sure I'm the one who decides what's the best use of your time. Got it? Yes, sir. Got That's it. That's exactly what I thought he was going to okay, say. Okay, time to get moving. Just remember, Jack Calvary is watching from whatever shithole he ended up in. He's doing proud. The MP9? What's the MP9? You talking about like Hi. the MP5 platform? The HK platform? How you holding up? I know there's a, there's a, uh, the MP5, the MP7's out, and that one's pretty sweet, the gas MP7, if you really want to be, uh, you know, tight and light. I don't know, it's just like shit on shit. I can't get a break, everyone oh, okay. thinks I'm crazy. Hey, yeah, I think I know what you're talking about stress out any more than you need The to. MP7's nice though, that collapsible stock, remember? it's pretty sweet. For last night? So I've been going over it in my head. What? You needed an alibi for me at the crime scene. Do you really believe that I had something to do with this? Becky. I this asked again? you a question. Will you let me through, please? Shoot her. I'm your partner. We have to be honest with each other. Honest? Fine. Here's honest. Everybody knows about this beef between you and Calvary. Some of these guys. I don't think you're all there. You've got to start watching out for yourself. Tom, you're accusing me of murdering. She's got a guy a using officer. a phone to control her life to watch out for her. Motive. I'm just doing my job. No, shotguns are still kind of a problem. The, I mean, the, the standard non non-powered ones are are fun. I mean, even I've had one, but I would uh, be very careful about shotguns. My friends make some really sweet CO2 powered custom shotguns, but that's a full custom job. You're my partner, Tom. How can I forget? We're supposed to be on the same side here. I'm not on your side because I'm your partner. I'm on your side because I'm your friend. And you got more around here than you realize. Why do you think Rick's put you on case review? He just wants me out of the way. Maybe. Or maybe. He thinks you'll actually find something. Well, let's go find something. Adam Jones was definitely at Las Palmas, same time as Finn. Allegedly mm. died in the fire that shut the place down. Now, according to Finn, Jones grew Great up tacos. to be a trapper, but how can that be possible? Doesn't make sense. Monsieur Walsh, the orphanage. Uh, check links, street walkers, and previous case investigate. Yeah, we already know that the priest was dirty. LeMay, orderly at Las Palmas. In and out of the third precinct lockup for years, but known for his uncanny ability to avoid doing any real time. Seems likely that he knew people on the inside. Uh, for if pistols, the cops were the targets, you're probably looking at Elite well, Force, KWA. Elite Force is just like a, his brother Vernon a kind of like a distributor, pub publisher, if you will, downtown. like a licensor. Other people the make their guns for them. So some people, sometimes it's like VS, VFC, Vega Force Company. Sometimes it's it's uh, KWA. But for pistols back in the day, it was always like KJW, KWA, 
Uh, and then good old Tokyo Mari, Japanese. And don't think you have to have a pistol with a metal slide. They do cycle pretty quick these days with power with you know powerful propellants, but you know having a plastic slide that's actually really really good chat. superior polymer like the one that I had from Tokyo Mari, it was just so lightweight and was awesome. And I dropped that thing a thousand times. It took a it took a beating man and never stopped working on me. The Shoot him! Party made foot bail. Oh, we got an action scene going here. Quick thumbs, quick thumbs. Whoa, so glitchy. This got tired or something? Time for me to shoot. Oh, shoot, he just pulled a weapon on us. That dude's got a 1911. Mr. LeMay, listen to me. You don't want to do anything stupid, okay? I don't got to do anything. No, I just want to talk to you. We're carrying the gun, dude. I want to talk about it. Put the gun down. I just want to talk. No, we're going to flip this guy. This orphanage? I need your help. The sooner you cooperate, the sooner this little misunderstanding will be over. Stay back. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna drop my weapon. Okay, see? I only want to talk to you. Oh, God damn it. You could have just put your weapon away, Becky. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say. Yeah, I can and will be used. Good job, though. Yeah, story of my life, lady. Yeah, let's go. Uh, your Glock. Looking too good right now, Vernon. Yeah. I guess low yeah, those, you know, those situations, cut, you know. What? Quit dicking me around. Cause you know stressors and whatnot. But yeah, man, you mean you always gotta have shooting glasses on. Always gotta wear, you know, just eye protection. And make it. It does give you. A, I don't want to say a sense of invincibility, but I mean, as long as you're wearing eye pro. I mean, with airsoft. You know, I mean, mainly just in practice and in training. In actual, in actual. You know, games, uh, I suggest full face wear because of how close engagement distances are and how powerful the weapons are. A lot of people get their teeth blown out these days. But, you know, for training and for practice, um, yeah, you, sh you should feel very reassured and very competent uh, about practicing with just wearing eye pro. I mean, it's just got to be a, a, a normal pair of shooting glasses, nothing crazy. The Walmart, the Walmart stuff will definitely work for that. Adam Jones. Ah. What can you tell me? Bro mentioned him once or twice. Said no matter how much he wailed on him, the kid would just look back at him with these big old dead eyes. Just taking it. Bro could do whatever he wanted, no matter how much the bastards complained. Cops weren't gonna touch their golden goose. Why is that? You know what? I think my mouth just got tired. I think it's time for my lawyer. I know my rights. Okay. Elaborate. I'm going to spell it out. He supplied for everyone. Yeah, you're going to send me up the river. You better make a hell of a lot of extra room. Why is that? Because I'm taking half the police department with me. Get this piece of shit out of here. Who 
Who is she talking to? That scene didn't really make sense. This stuff about Lemay. What now? You again? Is that the when you were dealing with back then? Teller was the ringleader over there. Kept his cards close to the chest. But I knew something was up. That's why I left. You didn't tell someone about this. No reason to dig up the dead just to drag him through the mud. Yeah, I gotta keep that blue nice and clean, huh? We have bigger fish now, Tom. Yep. Yeah, I, I've had some similar issue with that, man. I was shooting for a really long time one day trying to sight in my buddy's uh, rifle and I didn't get to wear uh, both layers. I usually wear two layers of ear pro and I only got to wear one layer that day and it was it was pretty bad afterwards. If these killings are connected to the Las Palmas orphanage, Father Rominski is at the center of it. It's just too bad that the rest of the clergy took a vow of silence the minute things started to get hairy for him. But Finn told Felicity that Rominski had some kind of secret room at the orphanage. Couldn't find any reference to this in the police records. I guess it's time for me to head over to Las Palmas and take another look. for the secret room, I guess. Where all that no-no stuff happened. One more hour till Ace Combat! Harley's already playing Ace Combat. She's been playing Ace Combat for like two hours. Lucky dog. Hello? Somebody's Hello? here. Keep moving. <laughs> CSI. <laughs> the trophy that says CSI. Yeah, it's got a 4.3 instead of a 5.1 barrel. That is, uh, I would suggest that gun. It's a cool gun, man. Looks super sexy. I actually thought about getting one myself. Always wanted a, a, a Sig Desert Warrior, Desert Scorpion, or King Scorpion, or whatever it's called. 
Oh, man. Found the naughty chamber. Oh, hello, ladies. Looks like Father Rominski was a regular customer. Whoa. What did that say? I was reading what you wrote in the chat and I barely missed it. I almost missed that. Quick time. Got him. Get it, get it, girl, go. Yeah, I was gonna do a review, uh, or actually a comparison video of the three different brands of G36, because they actually have different stuff. Even though the, K the new KWA is very good, the, uh, the older classic army ones are actually Freak! built a little bit better Jumbo! for airsoft because they made them just like the real one, but then they added the things that they needed to add to make you know, working on it and maintenance as, as an airsoft gun no, 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 no. perfect without compromising the one-to-one um, the -one actual replica. Whereas the KWA, the new one that I have, it's, it's a supreme weapon. I mean, I, I love it shooting-wise, but... It uh, it copies everything like from the real one, so it, it makes like barrel changes and maintenance and all that stuff like just ridiculously hard, and it's actually kind of screwed up the accuracy and, and the way my sights line up at the barrel, just because I had to take apart the uh, the the, the outer barrel the Undertaker. has like the this weird like chassis no thing on the inside of it that kill. holds it together no with these uh, to with these promise. screws and. On the Little classic armor, I never had to take no that thing apart, so it was always it always kind of held its zero, you know. Maybe five years have. But on this one, like right when I got it, I'm gonna go it was uh, the hop up was a little messed up. So when I took it apart to try and change it out and see what was wrong with it, I mean I had to take I had to do like way 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 more work than I ever would have had to do on the classic army version. And classic army is a brand, by the way. Yes. Miss Johnson, what do you want? It's a weird name, but you know how those companies are. Over there in the east. All right, serious. I'm with the police. Respectful. I'd like to talk about your husband. Well, let's just be respectful, I guess. I'd like to speak to you about your husband. What are you, a cop? I ain't got nothing to say to you. Uh oh. Yes, ma'am. I'm a detective. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions about your husband. Yeah? Where was y'all when I called at 2 in the morning to get him to stop hitting me? Where was the cops then? Now you got a lot of questions. Uh, I'm a detective. Now I ain't got time <laughs> All right. You gonna tell me exactly what it is you want to know? Well, I'm very sorry to hear that your husband treated you like that. Sounds like he had it coming one way or another. Yeah, one way or another. Is that all you wanted? I'd like to know if um, your husband ever used the services of a call girl. <laughs> what are you kidding? He suck his pecker in everything from high price spreads to gutter cleaners. <laughs> I gave up open score. <laughs> Man, have you ever heard of anyone by the name of Adam Jones? A kid named Adam used to help my Silver husband trophy, out dressed to kill. he lost his undertaking job, but that was a long time ago. Could this be him? Maybe just grown up a bit? Mm, well, yeah, could be. Yeah. Are you sure? Take a good look. Yep. She said yep. I'll say that's him. Well, thank you for your time, Mr. Positive Johnson. ID. Alright. How do we get right there? Jody was married to Rupert Walsh. The Trapper's first victim.
assistant to Rupert Walsh. Getting closer to this dude. Detective Marnie? On my way to see Simon Hillary. At his house? After hours? Yeah. I'm really starting to think there's a connection here with the prostitutes mm, and the trapper killings. These days, now Hillary that we have, have, we have actual like pyro rounds that are either on oh, a time yeah. charge, right. um, there's actual fireworks. impact rounds now, it's just a few questions. and they're it's actual heavy. pyrotechnics that actually explode, so it's, it's pretty, we've come a long way, it's pretty high tech now. Um, but for the most part, throughout the past, and they still have these shells, they acted like shotguns. Hello. You filled them with like, I'm you know, over 100 home. BBs. Um, you pull the trigger. They call them beehive rounds because it kind of looks like that. You fill the holes with, you know, with BBs. You pull the trigger and boom, it just fires out a huge shotgun spread, a massive, massive inaccurate spread. I can't how close but I yeah, like I said, these days we actually have launchable 40 millimeter grenades that are, are stupid it's accurate, man. They're really, they're really good. Expensive, okay. obviously, because they're disposable rounds, but pretty awesome. You examined the trapper's rigs last time. How did this match up? Same guy? Yes. I, I, I do believe it's the same trapper. How can you tell? Well, the... The rigging in his nose... I mean, the only way to describe it... Would be... Artful. Masterful, even. Do you remember Las Palmas? The, uh, orphanage, the... Case from a few years ago. Unspeakable. What if this yeah. guy's the guy? Yeah, we're doing some digging. The this dude seems there, a little weird Kaminsky, to me. Seems to have a thing for the ladies of the night, which is starting to feel just like the Calvary case. And Walsh, the Undertaker. Hooker, same thing. Night of his death. That's just too many hookers to be a coincidence. Huh? Unless every single man in this town is a John. Well. I'm working on a new theory. It's just a sketch, but I think you can help me. All right. Was there anything you found that might point to the killer being a woman? Well, there was trace evidence. Yes, it's it's possible, certainly. Is that data still available? Of course. Uh, the records were archived when Finn confessed. Are you all right? Sorry? It's this morning. I, I'm st still a little shaken up. That yeah. was this morning? Yeah. Right. I don't know. Something's fishy. It's like we've got all these tidy little puzzle pieces, but... The picture on the box makes no sense. Feeling like there's a lot more to this than just Jonathan Finn, you know? I'm not sure I do, Detective. And now, the Calvary murder, maybe Finn's still a part of it, but... But what if someone else is pulling the strings? Well, duh. I'm suddenly feeling very unsafe again. Finn's Adam Jones apparently survived the orphanage fire. Worked for the Undertaker. Trapper's first pick. The widow even identified him from a picture. Maybe it is this dude. I'm sorry, I am still feeling very foggy after the explosion. Shoot him! Sorry, just a moment, I'll get that all cleaned up. Simon better not be going for a damn weapon. Dude's clothes. Yeah, that's what I was My saying apologies. earlier about covering I mean, your just, teeth I mean, and your mouth. Full face masks are pretty, pretty common. Not a bad Don't idea, man. It. Not a bad idea. Here, let me help you. If I'm gonna be like playing in CQB stuff or like in mount site, mount, like mount facilities and everything with buildings and corners and doors and windows, I usually wear uh, one of those metal mesh lower face masks. All right, I've taken up way too much of your time. It's no bother, really. Oh, I know that you didn't get to finish your evaluation at the crime scene. Is there anything that you may have missed? Well, I, I don't think so, but uh, this was no typical attack. Whoever Calvary was with, he probably knew them. Thank you for your time.
Okay, that was odd. Simon basically freaked out. And that hoodie, was he following me at the orphanage? My gut says that he's mixed up with this somehow. Time to do some digging. I'm in Hillary. Oh my God. What did she discover about Simon? Killed by a trap rig, yep. Yep. Simon's Simon's definitely fishy. Some wrong with that boy. Eight twenty three PM. Yeah, what up Zo? Yeah, GBO two um Go watch Calvin's the uh murder. go watch the last GBO two update video. It's a long one, but um, a there's a bunch look. of stuff in there. They also kinda of screwed up for some of the step up programs for the Blue Destinies and uh, what was it, Mudrock. So you may have some free tokens sitting in there for you. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff, dude. Yeah, the camouflage looks dope, outward, though. On the headboard, from the, uh, it's just very similar. It's like pulled from Gundam Breaker 3. Explosion was so you can tell that they're going to like slowly trickle in more of the uh, insignias and everything from, from GB3. Possible he could have avoided serious injury. Although it has, it already has something I think GB3 didn't even have. Bullets were fired from Calvary's gun. But why? Found bullets from the clip. Contacts. Who would you like to call? Felicity Graves. Calling Felicity Graves. Hey, Felicity. Hi, Becky. What's up? Can you meet up? I want to go over some evidence. Yeah, of course. Uh, temple bar? Great. Sweet. Go get lit. Oh, what is she doing? Is she killing people? She's sewing some dude's mouth shut? What in the world? Okay, that's the end of part two. Hit the box when you're ready to move on. Dude, let's go. So you tell me the lawyer is the bad guy? I thought it was the butler. Yeah, two gigabyte update, Zo. And that new gun cannon two thing. It's got a laser gun. So Simon Hillary might actually be Adam. And now, part three of Hidden Agenda. Thank you. I don't know why they have this narrator. Mm 
bar and grill a little. To see if forensic missed anything, but came up empty. Wait, did they clear you for that? Of course. I did some digging on Simon Hillary. What do you mean? I kind of took a peek at his personnel file. Took a what? Then I found his high school yearbook online. Becky, are you sure that's a good idea right now? Well, maybe it wasn't the safest move, but whatever. It was worth it. What'd you find? I found Simon Hillary. So? That's Simon Hillary. Wait, that are, is not Simon Hillary. Are you Hillary. saying our Simon is not the Simon? What if he stole this yes. guy's identity? But how? The timeline fits. eBay. They'd be about the same age. And look, you can see a resemblance. Adam supposedly died in the fire, then pretty soon after, Simon Hillary starts his training. He's been following me since the briefing. Simon? Or Adam, I guess? Yeah. He knew I'd be looking into old cases. And that, with enough digging, they'd lead me right to him. Damn it. I'm not sure if there's enough here yet for a warrant. Really? I know. But I can get this guy. We can get this guy. With your help. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just lay it all out first. Beers. Thanks. When Calvary was investigating the Trapper five years ago, he had one big blind spot. Prostitutes. The first target. The Undertaker. Met with a hooker the night he was killed. Father Rominski had a thing for hookers. I wish we could find the hooker that was with Calvary. That'd at least be a place to start. If it is, Simon, maybe he's using a hooker to lure his targets into a premeditated murder site. I just... I don't even know what to think anymore. I feel like everyone's out to get me. Don't worry, Detective. You're safe with me. Oh, really? To I'm gonna click, I'm gonna clink, uh, you know, classes with her, but I know Simon that that's Jonathan not true. Finn started talking, and, and then he killed Calvary because he knew everyone would immediately suspect me. Throw them all right off the scent. Oh, Christ. He's been right in front of our face this whole time. Let's go shoot him. What? Felicity, what? Well, a search warrant for Simon's house is out of the question. But there is another way. Like, he knows you, so you could call him up for a drink, and while he's out here and you've got your eyes on him... Seriously? You want to break into his house? Well, Felicity, that's illegal. But we'd know for sure. It is illegal. Fuck it, let's get him. Let's do it. Okay, great. Temple Bar. Ten minutes? But that's also Perfect. going to... Whoever goes in the house is going to be going into a trap. Bait's on the hook. Go fish. going on ah uh, she drugged my beer oh man should not have drank the beer Mick K. Finn. Night. 
moves. Silver trophy. Night moves is an old, I think, like, 90s movie or something. Eighties or nineties. Oh, I was about to say, should we just? I mean, we just got there. Why would we just flee? What would be the point of that? But there's obviously got to be a branch that goes that way. <laughs> the branches. The branching story. Painting on the back wall. Shit. Time to go. We didn't find anything. Come on, do the flashlight thingy. in and shut the door behind you. That looks like, a, like it's just going to fall down like an elevator or something. Wicked. Shit. Get a move on, lady. Clues to find. Oh, man. Yo, let's go. Silver trophy. What the hell? Oh, cookies. What? I know they're obviously going to know that somebody's down there because the wall's been moved. But... I don't think we'd get away. Well, who knows? I'll pick that next time.
Wake up, Becky. What is she wearing? She'll dress up like a prosy. Joker bomb, like in Batman. The cell phone inside the dude. What, what, what does she do to me? What does she put inside me? God damn it! Ah, uh, Van Stone, I am. Um, what is it? It's the trapper. You're. You're you 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 you're rigged. I, uh... What? Oh no 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 no! <laughs> Some no, cold no. shit. <laughs> Just laid it out to him like that. Shit! Oh, oh God! How's your head, Detective Marty? <laughs> Sound like Roseanne right there. I know it's you, Simon. Adam. I fucking know. Impressive work. I'm almost sorry no one's gonna get to know how good of a detective you are. If you will notice, there is a small heartbeat tracker on Judge Van Stone's wrist. It is synchronized to a cell phone that I have surgically implanted into his stomach. The phone is just the timer, but every beat of his heart knocks another second off. The faster his heart races, the quicker the clock. Now, would you care to guess what happens when the numbers reach zero? Game over. For anyone in, say, uh, a hundred foot radius, give or take, which will most likely include all the police who are swarming in to arrest you right now. Sometimes killing is the only option. What? You can try to run, but I can't promise you I'm not gonna pop that balloon a bit early. And there's enough explosives in there to level the whole floor. Jesus Christ. Well, the last one didn't even blow up the whole trailer. Stop the heart. Stop the timer. You can't be serious. I can be whatever I want. You can be alive or you can awesome. be dead. Awesome. That's your choice. What are we gonna Monster. do? What are we gonna do? So what did he say? Are you gonna get me out of this? Just knock him out. What did he say? Could you get me out of this, please? Blast him in the face. Fuck. I can't. I can't. <laughs> weeb Lord. I, can't. I are not Weeb Lord. You are Weeb Lord. Okay. okay. Your name Thank is literally you. Absolute King of Anime. I need you to stay calm. I are okay. Smash Weebs. Stay very. Do you understand? Why? What's happening? Oh, oh God. Why in God's name? 
Please, 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 just stay. Stay calm, stay calm. Nothing, dude, just waiting for... Waiting for access to Ace Combat 7. If the timer reaches and zero, I've been wanting to play this game, so... We're both dead. How much time? I figured I'd live stream it. You guys can make decisions. That don't have time timers. Uh, let's see... Not that much. But the calmer... The calmer you are... The more time that we'll have to figure this out, okay? I already did my dailies in GBO2 today. Just knocked those out real quick in space. So, if you take this phone Jumped on this. Me, it can't hurt me, right? You gotta get it out of me! Let's do it. <laughs> ah, no! Please! Ah, I can't take it! <laughs> you better take it. Otherwise, you're gonna blow up. Wow, she just reached in there and grabbed it? What the hell? She didn't even like pull a knife out to cut the stitches or anything. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Yes. And boom. Still all woozy. You have five missed calls. Contacts. Tom Nelson. Jesus, Becky, are you? <laughs> oh God. Yeah, I think I think they meant to show him like pass out, but I'm pretty sure he would have he would have died of the injury, so the blood loss. Outside right now. We just needed to keep the bomb from going off. It's a frame so job. Maybe he died, maybe he just passed out. I'm at the hotel, but... But I think someone spiked my drink. Vanstone was all rigged up when I came to. Oh, God, just... Stay put. Get in the car, dude! We're coming in. No, 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 oh, I can't. Oh, he's already outside. Felicity, she's at Simon's house. She needs my help. There you go. Damn it! Two minutes. And SWAT's coming in. Go. Yeah, it's really now. weird. Like, they... This company always does a good job. This is from the same company that made, like, Until Dawn and oh, a couple it. other games like this. Tom. Thank it you. looks really great, and then every now and then it'll get a little janky, but... I got this thing for, like, under ten bucks, and I've been waiting for it since the, it's a PlayLink game, and I, I like all these games. It's a party game. It's pretty cool. You can play with a bunch of people in the same room because you just play with your phone. Like, I'm not using a controller to do any of this. You just use a cell phone and the app on the cell phone. And it has, like, it keeps track of all the notes and all that stuff. It's like, it's it's a lot like the old uh, Sherlock Holmes game from back in the day. But, you know, it's just updated. And I've, I've really been into this ever since Banner Snatch came out. And I wanted to do a, I wanted to do a review and stuff of Banner Snatch. But I haven't got to it yet. Because um, I always loved all those all those things, and this is a really cool kind of uh, something. It's kind of in the same vein, you know, making your own, picking the decisions and whatnot, picking the branches of the story. It's really interesting, just in the state of gaming as it is, um, which is kind of like what I wanted to do the video about. But I'll talk a little bit about it now. Anyway, so it just seems like you know, back in the day, like in the '90s, when full motion video became possible to be used in video games like on Sega CD and stuff like that it was you know it was the biggest thing you know you got Night Trap got re-released on PS4 stuff like that the one with uh, was it Corey is it Corey Feldman or Corey Haim I don't remember which one it is that game stuff like that and then now you have companies like Supermassive here making products like this and then you have Netflix getting into the whole gaming industry basically like you know with Banner Snatch that's it's pretty cool so it just seems like it's come full circle, and for me, in my gaming life, it's been really awesome. Look, VR came back around, and it's awesome, and then the choose-your-own-adventure game, you know, or, you know, or genre is back, you know, with full-motion video, and it's, I don't know, it's just, it's very interesting. I don't understand history repeats itself, but it's pretty, it's, it's pretty soon. 
let's see. Becky, leave the hotel right now. I'll pick yeah, you up the, the way he was holding that phone is super happened. weird. No, meet me at the oh jump uh, force yeah. service road. It's That's cool. I didn't realize jump force came out tonight. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hold up! Holy... You're cutting it close there, Tom. It's like a Dodge Stratus. <laughs> uh, I was I'm not a Pokemon fan. Silver trophy, rat in the trap. Becky, hey, what's this all about? Although I did, Simon. I did kind of, when I was younger. I mean, Shit. I actually kind of like the Digimon here. stuff a little bit better, and, and I hear that the Digimon yeah, games are actually pretty anime. cool. Or at least uh, fun for what they are. But I'm afraid that this little adventure here has taken its course. Can we shoot this guy now? We know who you are. We know what they did to you. We know. We know what you're doing. Really? I've been following you, Detective Marnie. And I know you don't have a shred of evidence to back up your ridiculous claims. Don't be so sure. See if you think this bullet's ridiculous. Oh, right. Except what's on your phone. Hand it over. Yeah, it's just interesting. It's I mean, it's neat that it has the I the triple the jump, you know, all the power gym skills. In the bank. You're under arrest, Simon. And uh, the cannon's pretty awesome that it has piercing. It's, it's like the first weapon to have that. I kept saying the Zamel should have had that, but suppose it is. The Zamel's uh, stable round should definitely have piercing you ability. Cannot take that away from me. Everyone who hurt us is dead. Everyone at the orphanage. Everyone at the third precinct, even the goddamn judge, is dead. Case. <laughs> yeah, let's piss this guy off. Aw, oh, you're losing your touch. Van Stone's alive. Bullshit. Give him a ring. Now we're gonna get to shoot him. But he might be avoiding cell phones for a while. No, no, no. Oh yeah. I got him all over me. <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> that looks hilarious. Let him kill himself. Oh, I guess I would have hit him in the hand or something. Maybe I'll try and save him next time. Silver Trophy, goodbye world. <laughs> Silver Trophy, dead or alive. Gold Trophy, movie night. Indeed, indeed. Well, man, if I was still, uh, if Sony Rewards, God, they're pissing me off right now. If they were still tracking my, uh, I was like, I was on track to get like 750 more points. And I only needed a couple more silver trophies and like one more gold trophy, and I would I would have got it right there. Ah, God, I wish they would have fixed their freaking website already. Yeah, I just have my phone like in a in a grip up here, so I'm not holding it in my hand the whole time, or whatever. So I was a little a little slow on the draw on that gun scene, but either way. Let him shoot himself.
Earlier today, Judge William Vanstone was kidnapped from his home on the east side of the city. He has since been rescued and is back with his family recovering. Simon Hillary, a forensics medical examiner with the local police department, was being considered a suspect and has now been shot and killed by law enforcement, according to files we've obtained from an anonymous leak within the police force. Detective Marnie was implicated in the notorious 2012 Trapper killings. Ah, uh, it's pretty long. I... To Jonathan Finn. Yeah, it's about it's just about two hours actually. Sergeant Riggs made a brief it's pretty cool. To the press but the cool thing is, like I said, it's a, it's a party game actually. I'm just playing it single player, which is neat that you can do both. I really want to do the multiplayer. Can't wait to have another party over here and do that. A bunch of my girlfriend's friends usually come over and we play these playlink games that I have. The playlink games are really good. All of us on the force are very grateful to Detective Marnie. Thanks to her tireless efforts, the trapper's killing spree is finally over. He never suspected Simon Hillary. He fooled us all. Well, reading through all the bio and the notes and stuff like that no, on the in the app right now on my phone. Not my part. See all the clues and stuff. Becky Morney saved my life. She should get a goddamn medal as far as I'm concerned. Oh, that's where it says it saved his life in there if I would have read it. Do you know someone named Simon Hillary? Miss Graves, can you tell me what you were doing in Simon Hillary's house? I was looking for the truth. Police weren't. Oh, that's cool. And someone had to do what was right. Anything else you want to add about Adam Jones? My only regret is that I didn't nail that son of a bitch five years ago. Huh. Wow, there's still a bunch of other biographies that aren't unlocked in here. That's pretty cool. Ripple events. Well, that's pretty much going to do it for our, uh, my first blind playthrough of Hidden Agenda. Thanks to everybody who hung out. Uh, while we were playing through this, it was a really fun game, really cool, really cool concept. Uh, Supermassive does, you know, really interesting different games. Uh, it is controlled by an app that you download on your phone. It is multiplayer that you can play, you know, like I was saying, in a party with people, and it's kind of like a competitive mode that they have that's also in the game. Uh, so, so you know, one person kind of plays the bad guy, and the other people in the room kind of have to figure out who it is and that or that kind of thing. So it's it's pretty neat uh, concept. Always excited for new gaming concepts and for people to take chances on making products like this. So, you know, good on Supermassive, good for those guys, and it was executed pretty you know pretty well. Um, the acting was was actually decent. Um, it's just kind of the the combination thereof of the acting and then the code, and those two things interacting together to try and make it smooth. This is sometimes a little janky, but you know, for me. It's, it's acceptable. But anyway, uh, so I'm going to cut this off right here. And then we're going to go and play Ace Combat in VR, baby. Woo-woo. All right.